Oh, folks, I know I'm a smidgen late to the party because of London Comic Con this weekend just gone. Where? P.S. I did. I did already open some of these in the vlog for that. So if you want to see really early Astral Radiant stuff, there is a video from a couple of days ago where we did a bit. But this is my first official Astral Radiance box opening from the channel. We've got an entire booster box. It is one of the ones that I bought at Comic-Con for only £100, so a bargain box. And we are going to open it up and see what's inside. Hello, folks, and welcome to another Pokemon box break here on the channel. As mentioned, today is Astral Radiance. Without further ado, Let's get into it. I am already loving this set. This is going to be the second box that I've opened. I also went to the pre-release events. I've already got quite the collection of Astral Radiance, which is starting to form already. Uh, but I am very keen to get properly started on my binder with a nice little head start with these packs that we are, uh, the, these packs that we picked up at Comic-Con. Like I said in the intro, only £100. I've never ne never really looked into before how much boxes at Comic-Con costs. I know uh, traditionally everything at conventions is usually more expensive than it would be to buy outside of conventions. It's kind of become my thing over the years that I look at what I want at the conventions, then come home and order it from the internet because it's so much cheaper. Um, the opposite seems to be true for Pokemon cards. It was the cheapest price I found anywhere to the point where this box was bought from Magic Madhouse at the convention for £100. I also bought some boxes from Magic Madhouse on the internet, which are still at very reasonably priced £125, which is the cheapest price I've been able to find online. So crazy, crazy low convention prices. Very, very cool. And if you do want to pick up a box for yourself, unfortunately, the convention is now finished, so you're not going to be able to get one quite this cheap, but you can still buy for the £125 price at Magic Madhouse. I've got an affiliate link for them down in the description below but without further ado let's get stuck into these boxes uh, these packs even and see what we've got we are just we're looking for everything really um i've i've all i've opened a little bit because i've not started a binder yet i haven't really got a good feel for what i've got what might be missing from uh, from what we still need so it is very much a case of i want everything especially a dark cry v star in the very first pack i mean that is what i'm talking about that is that's a card i'm pretty sure i've not seen before so i think that is a uh, a fresh pull for me and a very snazzy looking card too it's obviously dark gray is a pokemon that's uh, being featured quite nicely as part of astral radiance it's all over the uh, all over the elite trainer box which i still haven't actually had my elite trainer boxes that I pre-ordered from the Pokemon Center yet, my Pokemon Center ones, uh, they haven't yet arrived at the time of recording. I have got the one ED or had the one ETB that I opened up in the Comic-Con video. I don't actually have an elite trainer box to show you yet because I ordered them from the Pokemon Center. So as soon as, wow, okay, stop talking for a minute, Kev. Look at the state of this pack. We've got the Shadow Rider, Cal Calyrex, V-Rex, uh, Trader Gallery, super duper for shiny goldie goldie and a weird ev i mean these are these are two of the most sought after cards in the entire set this calyrex in particular is a thing of beauty i'm holding it by one corner i uh, should probably put that down so that i can get it into a sleeve my goodness front loading the boxes much pokemon my word i mean surely we're not going to get any better than those first couple of packs worth of pulls that is bananas two packs in what a box already this is this is already seeming to be a bit of a result uh, what i was saying is as soon as as soon as i get my etbs in whenever they might actually arrive um i'll do a video for them as well although looking at the schedule for this month because we've got so much on with the conventions and uh, the disney trip and oh my word i can't even get a sentence out without getting pulled after pull after pull i'm complaining i'm not actually complaining uh but we have a silene uh full art trainer card i mean i'm not gonna argue i think we should stop there this box is so front loaded 
it's just going to be disappointing once we get past these few packs at the front, isn't it? There's going to be there's going to be nothing good in the second half of it, surely, unless we've got ourselves one of the fabled god boxes. Can you imagine what a what a thing that would be if we picked up a god box for a hundred pounds and earmarked that as the one that I opened in full in a YouTube video? There you go, our first pack that didn't actually have a pull in it. Uh, but again, getting back to what I was trying to say, uh, because it looks like the ETBs are going to be a little bit late, or well, they already are a little bit late, and the uh, I've got so much other stuff on with Disney, we've got Centre Parks coming up, we've got Convention Vlogs, we've got UK Game Expo coming up, we've still got the rest of Comic-Con to put out, we've got uh, the Autism Show Tour takes place this month. There is a lot that we are going to be bringing to the channel in the next month or so. Um, so I think what I'll probably do... Similar to how last week I did the video just showing all of the most recent Pokemon boxes that I'd brought, uh, where we had the Arceus box and the I forget what else we had. What have been the other boxes recently? I want to see. I want to say more Pico, but I think that was an older one, wasn't it? I don't remember. Um, you all know. You all know better than me. Um, but yeah, I think I'll just do the Elite Trainer box with the Build and Battle Stadium when that comes and. I think I've got some blister packs on the way and I've still got the Professor Juniper uh, box that hasn't arrived yet. I've still got this, this spring collector's chest hasn't arrived yet. So there's quite a lot of stuff that I've got on order. The new, um, the new trainer toolkit as well. Anyone else who's in the UK, which I imagine is most of you, um, will know that supply chain issues are causing problems for those of us in the UK to get the products as early as our american cousins are getting them so and um, we might be just doing a big old video at some point where i open a lot of stuff and open all the packs and just show you all in one go because i just don't see looking at the schedule how we're going to be able to get it all in otherwise this there's, there's too much product we might have to go up to four videos a week um this is where editor chris starts to panic and breaks out in a cold sweat four videos a week Three's too much. <laughs> uh, it'll be fine, Chris. Don't worry about it. We'll come up with a plan. Um, but there's so much on. We've got to. We've got to do something. I don't want to. I'm. I'm we, we're going to slowly creep back towards releasing daily videos again, just in a whole new genre of content, which is fine by me. I used to love doing daily videos, and I, I genuinely really enjoy vlogging as well. It was just the content that had to change, and I think. The, the further we go down this journey of the rebrand, the new style content, I start to get a little bit more comfortable with what I'm doing. We, we're we getting a little bits of mixture of the new stuff and the old stuff. And I'm starting to put my own my own twist on doing all this kind of stuff. I don't I think once I once I'm settled in and really comfortable doing this and we are reaching that point, we could probably ramp the content back up again. I'm not promising that we'll ever go. In fact, forget not promising. I'm promising we will never go back to being daily videos on the channel, on this channel, because I think it probably is too much. But we could probably we could probably increase the output a little bit as as things are becoming a little bit more comfortable. We're getting a little bit more used to what I'm doing. Plus, with the vlogging stuff, so much of it is already banked in advance now. Uh, again, panicking editor Chris, because for him, that work is still to be done. But for me, the Disney videos are already done. I don't need any more. That, that's content that's coming out over the next few weeks. I need no further part in. We have another Radiant Horlucha. When I was at Comic-Con, Pab got the Radiant Greninja. And I really want that one. I've got the Horlucha multiple times over now. I still need that Radiant Greninja. And we have a Lucario V, which I know is a double because I really liked that card and remember getting it. Uh, down in London as part of that box. So these two, um, although definitely pulls, are also definitely doubles, which will no doubt be finding their way to the uh, to the eBay store in the near future. Link to that is in the description below. Keep an eye on that. Although that being said, I need to have a think first about whether Lucario might be making his way into a deck, in which case we'll obviously need multiple of those. But with the Radiant Pokemon only being able to put in... Uh, one in each deck doubles are definitely going to be going on ebay so uh, there's going to be a radiant heatran appearing in the very near future i think i also have a japanese radiant heatran as well i'm like radiant heatran man which 
would be a, a great superhero, I think. Maybe we need to maybe we need to look into that when it comes to cosplaying Comic Con next year. That is such a cool card. Hisui and Arcanine. Very good looking card. Right, I think we're approaching the halfway point of this box. As expected, after such a blistering start, things have slowed down a little bit. Obviously, we got the Radiant Pokemon, we got the we got the Lucario that we just pulled as well, but we're not going and um, hit 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 every pack anymore like we were right at the start. But I do expect a second wind at some point because we are we're a little bit a little bit behind schedule almost now. Um, I think the pack, I think the box that I opened down in London, I got 13 balls. Um, and anyone who's watched that video will know that Pab, who was opening a box with me at the same time, he got 19 pulls. It was an incredible box that he got. I'm hoping I've got one of those magical boxes because uh, he basically got, like I say, 19 pulls, the top three cards in the entire set. Made his money back on his box probably twice over with the cards that he pulled from it. Not that he's going to sell the cards, and it's not that I would sell them either if they were, unless they were doubles. Literally, just plug my eBay. I'm not going to sell them, but check out my eBay. Uh, uh, yeah, I would. I would like that, please. I would like some of these fancy rainbow cards. I see they seem to be very elusive for me. We have a Milo Trainer Gallery uh, card, and weirdly, just a rare Vesper Queen straight after it. But we have picked up another Trainer Gallery. Which is good to see because the trainer gallery, certainly on Brilliant Stars, I found that really hard to, uh, really hard to really get it, get any cards from. I'm still, I've still probably only got a very small handful of the trainer gallery on Brilliant Stars because I just haven't been pulling them. Whereas for Astral Radiance, I don't know if they're coming up a little bit more often, but I seem to be getting quite the trainer gallery selection already, which is absolutely fine by me the trainer gallery cards are always the prettiest ones in the set and there we have a heatran v so to go with my radiant heatran we now have a non-radiant one a boring old not radiant or to be honest that is a very cool looking card i like that he looks very angry doesn't he someone needs to cheer heatran up i feel for him right let's crack into our next pack Boo Hiss V Star card. We, can we stop being given those now? Surely we've all had at least one ETB that has one of the plastic ones in. We certainly don't need the little cardboard. Although, to be fair, it's replacing energies and we don't need energies either. And my word, I really am Heatran Man. And we finally have one of these rainbow cards that I was asking for as well. And it was always going to be the Heatran, wasn't it? The Heatran V Max. That is a beautiful thing. I don't know how many Heatrans there are in this set. I feel like we've done a, a full sweep of Heatrans in this video. Um, Editor Chris will do his magic to let us know how much this card was, along with all the other ones. Um, I think the Rainbow ones do sometimes have some decent value. Uh, but wait, I'm Heatran, man. I don't know how we do are we Are we close to breaking even on the box yet, Chris? Just giving him more work now. He'll love this. I'll absolutely love this. Right. Come on, then. Keep it going. Now we've now we've started. Uh, now we've now we've completed the heat trans probably, which is where we find more of them. I'd like something else cool. A decidui will do. A decidui v. A very handsome looking Hisuian decidui v. And like I said, we'd get another little period where we got a bunch of cards again. This is clearly that period. My little pile of pulls. Don't try saying that three times fast. The little pile of pulls. Is, uh, is getting bigger and bigger, and we've still probably got a third of this box remaining. So we are doing pretty well. Absolutely cannot complain at the moment. I think if I'm ever going to turn a profit on a box of Pokemon cards on the channel, it's got to be this box. Uh, not just because, there you go, we've got the rare and the reverse hollow um, of the same card there, which doesn't happen very often back to back. Uh, but this box surely stands the best chance if I'm ever going to have a profitable box on on youtube because a it's a brand new set that's only just come out so values of the cards are going to be pretty much as high as they're going to get certainly until we get years into the future and people are buying them because they're difficult to get hold of uh, the the value on cards is always at its peak when the set first comes out 
don't buy cards now. Don't buy singles for a few weeks uh, unless they're off my eBay store. Uh, but not only, that is a very pretty uh, Hisuian Lilligant rare card, uh, but we paid so little for the box as well. So we only have to get to £100 of a value on these cards when the card values are at their peak and we theoretically run a profit on the box. Now, obviously, because I'm not going to sell them and the prices are going to fall in the near future, in reality, we're not likely to actually make a profit. I don't think there's any individual cards in this set that are up there with some of the uh, some of the mega expensive cards we've seen in recent sets. We finally, finally... Oh, I almost missed you, my little beauty. I have the full set of Radiant Pokemon now. I have the Radiant Greninja, the one that I really wanted. And how cool is that card? That is awesome. Oh, look at him. I love the Radiant cards. And Greninja is just cool. Much cooler. Sorry, I know I'm Heatran, man. Sorry, Heatran. Greninja, much cooler than Heatran. I um, mean, it seems to be that you get two Radiants in each one of these booster boxes. I got two in my box down in London. Pab got two in his box. I've picked up another two in this box. So with there only being three Radiant Pokemon in the set, if you get a couple of booster boxes, I think you are looking good for uh, completing the set of the Radiant Pokemon, which is pretty cool as well, because they are very, very pretty, and they are the shiny new thing on this Pokemon set. Um, we are pro probably got eight packs remaining, I think. Um, I'm looking at the pile of pools. I think we're probably doing better than we did on my box that I opened in the vlog. Uh, but I think there's always room for us to pick up a couple more pulls. Please, Pokemon gods, if you are watching a couple more pulls, just for the video. These pulls are for the video. That's what we're looking for. Um, nothing there. Ah, uh, come on. Give me something more. Here we go. Right, come on then. What have we got? Seem, see, I'm seeing a lot of uh, Togepies and Psyducks, which is not a bad thing. They're both cool Pokemon. Seems to be a lot of them. Crack into this again. Oh, I'm. I've, it's just occurred to me that I get to have Binder fun this evening now. I've got... I've got a couple of decent piles of um, Astro Radiance cards already accumulated. I am going to be having Binder fun this evening. It's probably... I I some I could probably make the argument that I enjoy sorting my Binder as much as I enjoy opening the cards. That lovely little neurodivergent mind that loves order in the universe, like sorting things. Get out of here. I get the fun of sorting a Binder which will take up probably a couple of hours of my evening now. And it should also mean... I'll get on with this advert in a second. Because we have a Kingdra Trainer Gallery card and behind it, just an ordinary rare, but we have another Trainer Gallery. It's another one that I don't already have. And the, uh, the quest to complete the Trainer Gallery continues. And it continues apace. Now, what I was going to say is what this, of course, means... Once I've sorted these out, got them in my binder, and handed the bulk to Anna, um, it means in the very near future, the, uh, the packs of random Pokemon cards that we sell both on eBay and on the website, um, those random 50-card packs are going to start having Astral Radiance in. Um, they're, quite, uh, they're quite heavy with brilliant stars at the moment, because that's what I've opened probably more than anything else, although... It's, I mean, it's a pretty decent mix of... You see the kind of stuff that I've opened here on the channel. Um, anything that I open on the channel that doesn't make it into binders or uh, or decks ends up making it into those 50-pack, uh, 50-card uh, 50 random packs that we uh, that we sell for $5.99, including postage and packaging in the UK. Or four night, and I think they're $3.99 if you buy them on the website, then you have to pay your own postage. Uh, but yeah, they'll start having Astral Radiance cards in them as just as soon as we can uh, get them sorted and put into put into those packs. So that will be in the very near future. We have got a little handful of packs left now, so we are nearing the end of this uh, of this box break. I think we've done very well already. If we manage to still grab more pulls from here, it's only going to make me more happy with uh, with what we've got. Nothing from there. 
pile of cards is getting very large and I'm a little bit worried that I am going to knock it over and it's all going to go everywhere. That's going to make the sorting job more difficult. But we have another uh, V-Star card. Too many of them. I think that's the third one of those that we've picked up in this box. I'll happily never receive another of them ever again, please, Pokemon. Um, we have the Miltech. I'm not counting any of the... Uh, of the hollow rares as pulls, which I probably should, because they are, I mean, officially, they are, and um, they count towards your number, but I'm not that interested in how many of them I get. They're just one of those things that open enough packs and you'll eventually get them, whereas the, the Vs, the V-Stars, the trainer gallery cards, as I know from bitter experience with brilliant stars, you can open box after box after box after box and still have huge gaps in your binder where they should be starmy v i know this is a double as well i definitely remember picking this card up in london because i think it's a really nice card uh, so that one will definitely be making it to the ebay store over the coming days and we are down to our final four packs now so um come on give me something else one more one more big hit from these from these last couple of packs what we haven't had is dialga or palkia at all in this booster box which seemed to be all that Pab was getting. So if we can have if we can have one of those, because they look really cool. They're obviously the uh, the Pokemon that are featured on the box art on the packs. I would I would like one or both of those, please. If I'm allowed to pick, am I allowed to pick? Is that how this works? Uh, probably. I think it's probably how it works. Um, right. Let's. I think is this one got this one got the Palkia or the Dialga at the back? I think it probably has. Feels like it has. Oh, we've got the Hoot Hoot uh, Trainer Gallery, which is very cool. Uh, that, again, is one that I know I've already got. Certainly, I've got it in Japanese. I don't know for sure that I've got the English version of this already, um, but I remember pulling it out of the Japanese cards and then and thinking then that it was a really, really cool-looking card, and it is still cool. Even, even in English. I know they all look a little bit better in Japanese because the Japanese just makes it look cool, uh, but it's still a cool card. I'm a hoot hoot guy. What can I say? Oh, good. We got another, we got another V Star marker. Fantastic. Uh, this is our penultimate pack. So the chances of getting the 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 Alga or the Palkia, we're running out of time. Uh, we didn't get it in this one. So coming up is our final pack of the box. If we're going to get it, we're going to get it here, and we're going to find out whether or not we were able to at least break even on the pulls from this box. It's the best, like I say, it's the best opportunity we're ever going to have. I don't know how close we've got because I have no concept of the value of any of the cards. Uh, but Chris will put a total on the screen at the end so we know. Final card is... Oh, it's a Beedrill V. You know what? That's a cool card. I think it's one I already pulled in London. It is still a cool card, though. I've certainly seen it before. So I either pulled it in London or Pab pulled it in London or I already have the Japanese one. Either way... Our final pulls that we've ended up with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Not counting the hollow rares, which there must be another four or five of those somewhere in that pile. That is an incredible box. Pabby. Not, not Pabby. <laughs> That's who the other guy is. Let's try that again. Chris, how did we do? Did, did we did we make £100 worth of value? I don't know. I'll do a happy reaction and a sad reaction. And he'll probably leave both of them in because he's a monster. Uh, but I really enjoyed doing that. It's a fun set. Um, I urge you to get involved and open up some of your own because it is a fun set. Like I say, the link to Magic Madhouse is down in the description below if you want to do that on my affiliate link. Um, and other than that, I'll say goodbye for now because... I've got binder fun. Thanks for watching, folks.